talk about smells in your toilet. Yeah, it's disgusting. You all have been there. If you have little boys, you know that your toilet can smell disgusting and have that urine smell. If you go to sit on the toilet and it smells and you've just cleaned it and you're like, what the heck? Why is it still smelling? It is so frustrating. But I have a tip for you guys right here on how to get rid of all that nasty smells because it could be a lingering in your grout. Did you ever think about that? Even though you may have a rug on here, it can still get into this grout and it smells so bad. I'm gonna show you today a way to get all of this nice and clean and deodorized with some simple things that I know you have probably in your house. The first thing you're going to need is just some baking soda. I buy it, obviously, by this huge bag right here. You do not need to. I use it a lot for cleaning. It does a really good job. You are also going to be needing some cleaning vinegar. If you don't have cleaning vinegar, you can also use regular vinegar. It'll work just as well. I also have this spray bottle and I put 50% vinegar and 50 50% water in here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the surface all wet so that the baking soda has something to stick to. And then I'm going to take my baking soda and just sprinkle it around here. You don't need too much. Just remember, you are gonna have to clean this back up. So we're gonna let this kind of sit here for a few minutes. We're gonna let the vinegar do its work. What the vinegar does, is it actually kills all of this, the, the bacteria that is in the grout. That is what you're actually smelling, is the nasty, nasty bacteria that's just kind of seeped in there. So we're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna add some more vinegar on top of it. And that way it's all kind of nice and kind of has a paste. And let's go ahead and start rubbing this into the grout and into all these corners, especially getting into right in here. Don't forget to get all the way around into the back here because, you know, if you have little boys or you're potty training, they are gonna go all over the place. It is just part of parenting, you guys. I have four children, so been there and I know how it is. Okay, so we have now kind of just scrubbed all of this. We're gonna let it sit in here, let it do its magic, and we will be back in just a few minutes. Okay, we are back now. I kind of just went ahead and scrubbed it a little bit more. I put everything kind of into a pile right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick all this up and put it in the trash. I'm gonna rinse this out and then come back and clean it up one more time. Well guys, it is now all cleaned up. I cleaned up all the baking soda and the vinegar and it actually does not even smell like vinegar, which it is surprisingly, like if you're one of those that don't like that vinegar smell, do not hesitate to do this. Now, if you are one of those that does not like that vinegar smell, I have another cleaning video letting you know how to get rid of that pee and urine smell. So click on the video right here and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.